All right, let's turn things over now to JB with a check of the forecast. I want to see Beaver Valley go to Olsh just so I can find out who Olsh is. <laughs> Our Lady of Sacred Heart. Our Lady of Sacred Heart. Thank you, Mike Mason and Josh. Do appreciate it. All right, and good luck to all our area teams. Looks like it's going to be a wet one for you folks. Not so much tonight, although there are going to be some sprinkles tonight, but tomorrow night for sure. And as we head toward the weekend, things will get gorgeous again. But you're going to have to be patient. Looks like we'll still have some rain in here early Friday morning. Fortunately, the games are that night. We should be sitting pretty by then. Right now, we're still doing okay. Temperatures have backed off considerably, though. Most of us hit the 80 or 82 degree mark earlier today. Nobody's even close to that now with readings back in the low to mid 70s. It's just barely in the 70s there in Somerset at an even 70. It's 77 in Beaver Falls and Newcastle and Latrobe too and everybody else is in between. Pittsburgh International's high today, 80 degrees, one of the last ones of the year. Although I've got four or five of them in my seven day forecast, as you'll see in just a moment. 58 the low, that puts us three and a half degrees above the averages of 76 and 55. And right now we're back to that average high of 76 degrees with a mostly cloudy sky, humidity at 60%. Winds out of the west right now at five miles an hour. They've never really been an issue all day long, nor will they be, by the way, with these remnants, so called remnants of Hurricane Irma. Rain showers, bands of rain moving in overnight and during the day tomorrow. Wind will not be a problem. Pressure uh, is holding steady right now, but fairly low at 2981. And the dew point is high. It's coming up. It's at 61 degrees. Temperatures overnight are going to trend down, but not a whole lot with the cloud blanket that's moved in. That's going to serve to insulate the atmosphere and help hold our temperatures up overnight. I don't think we'll get below 60 for overnight lows. And then highs tomorrow, conversely, won't go anywhere with probably topping out in the mid to upper 60s. Here comes the rain, the leading edge not reaching the ground yet, but it is when you get back to Columbus, even Cambridge, Ohio now seeing rain at the surface and that will work its way into KD country and be with us off and on overnight and through the day tomorrow. Mostly cloudy tonight. Showers will arrive across the entire region after midnight, but they'll start on the western flank right over on the Ohio line in the next couple of hours and continue overnight and throughout the day tomorrow. Fortunately, the shower threat ends early Friday and I'm talking like two or three in the morning. All day Friday will be dry daylight hours and dry all weekend long as well. Forecast says showers mainly after midnight, but allow for a couple, especially to the west. 60 degrees our overnight low our high tomorrow. Not much more at 66 or 7 with showers off and on throughout the day and into the overnight hours, but they will get out of here early Friday. I think by three or four in the morning we'll be done with them and then look where we go. It's off to the races temperature wise back up into the low 80s and wall to wall sunshine with no chance of showers after early Friday morning until probably next weekend. Stace.